Hello, my name's Donna and I'm a children's physiotherapist here at Neuropedia Children's Neuroscience Centre. This is my friend Grace. Grace is a five month old little girl and she's going to help me explain to you about tummy time. As a mum and as a therapist, we hear about tummy time being said all the time. We go and see our paediatrician or we go and see our doctor and they talk about tummy time. So today we're going to explore why is tummy time so important and how to actually do tummy time. So what is tummy time? Well tummy time is the child being on their tummy on a solid supportive surface, playing or engaging in an activity. Why is tummy time so important? Tummy time allows the child to develop head control, allows them to strengthen their back muscles which support them in sitting and allows them to strengthen their arms to be able to push up. And these skills are then needed to work on for crawling and sitting and rolling. Grace and I are going to show you now some really important positions for tummy time that you can then do at home. The thing that you need to remember is tummy time is always to be supervised and you're trying to engage them and play an activity. It's not an opportunity just to leave your child on the floor. So this is a lovely position that you can spend with your child doing tummy time. So you're supporting, she can look at your face, look at the toy. So you're wanting the baby to push up. If the baby is not yet strong enough to push on their arms and support where my hands are, just underneath the armpits, across the chest, you could give them that little bit of support. And as you can see, Grace is perfectly performing, giving her that little bit of push. She's pushing up through her arms. What's really important is staying eye level with the child at all times, because children often prefer a face than just a toy. Another way that you can do tummy time is by using under the blanket here, I just have a small wedge. This will just make Grace work that little bit harder, placing her hands down so she really has to support herself. So this would be similar to then into the crawling position, so you're developing them and working forward. And as you can see here, Grace is really, really eager to get to her toys. Lovely. You're looking for your child to be in a tummy time position, building up from three to six minutes to start with, and ideally you're looking to be able to do at least an hour of tummy time a day. Tummy time doesn't have to be all at once, but you're looking to be the child to be on their tummy for at least an hour a day. Make the experience happy. If your child is tired, they're grumpy, or they've just had a fed, then don't do it and pick a later time. Another position that you can do tummy time in is over the gym ball. So you just support them keeping hold of the baby. You can control the gym ball then by, as you can see, by using your knee. And in this position, beautiful pushing up. You can see that Grace is pushing up and extending through her arms really, really well. This is a harder position, so you can see in Grace's face that she's working harder. By giving a little bounce or by rolling the ball backwards and forwards, Grace is having to work that little bit harder but you can see it's also encouraging. You can see that Grace is working that little bit harder now trying to push up through her arms. By rocking the ball, ball forwards, she needs to lift her head and therefore she's pushing more weight through her arms because gravity is pushing down. All the positions you have seen today, do while your baby is happy. It's to be fun and playful. Never leave your baby alone. And if your baby by four to six months is not showing signs of lifting their head, please contact your paediatrician or your physiotherapist just to give you some advice and some support. For now, baby Grace and I say goodbye and we'll see you next time to work on how to support sitting. Are you going to say bye? Good girl. Bye.